Hey everyone, I'm Enrico from John B. Anthony Company, and today we're going to be looking at the web app for LEA Professionals Connect Series Amps. Now that we've covered the channel controls, we're going to be taking a look at our amp settings. First up here, we have a locator, which just simply has a Find Me button. When you click this, the front of your amplifier is going to have your Shark logo flash, so you can easily locate this in a crowded server room or if you've got a bunch of your Connect Series amps kind of all racked together, easily identify which one you're working with. When you've located the amp, just simply click Stop Find Me. Next up, we have the ability to password protect our amplifier. This is for the web app controls, not for our network that we've enabled on our amplifier. So I'm going to enable a password just to simply demonstrate this for you. And here I'm automatically brought back to my login screen. I can put in the password or I can continue as a guest. And just to show you what this looks like, here we have a little lock logo and if I go and try and edit any of my settings. You'll see that I can't do that. I'm being stopped. For any sliders or anything, you're gonna get this little stop sign and down here, anything with a drop down menu is gonna have the line under it broken up and you won't have the ability to click. You can kind of think of guest mode as really more of a read only mode so that someone can't get in and change your settings. So let's head back in and take a look at the other amp settings. Next up, I have all my various labels. So first up, I have my device name. This is where you can go and name your amplifier and that's gonna be reflected right here on the left for you. Under there, we have our venue name. If you're using this with the cloud-enabled IoT version, this is how you can easily name your different venues and be able to manage everything that you need to remotely, whether it's a specific amplifier or the entire venue itself. Under there, I have a model ID. This is another just helpful organizational tool if I need to relabel this for whatever reason. From there, I have my asset tag. If I'm using any kind of asset tag management to keep track of stuff, this is where you would go and label that. Just another organizational tool if you already have something like this in place. From there, we get into installer name as well as installer contact info. And here you can pop in a phone number or an email address, whichever you prefer. And once you have that labeled, the help and feedback section is going to take that information and put it right here. This is helpful for your end user so that they can easily get to that information. And under that, I have my date of installation. Just simply click and choose the date that you've installed the amplifier. An easy way to have this kind of logged and saved if you do need to have any kind of service done down the road. So under that, I've got rack name and rack position. This is just so I can keep track of exactly where I have the amp physically installed. So I know here I've got rack two and rack five. Feel free to label this whatever's best for your organization. Next up, we have some more device info. And here you're gonna find your serial number for your amp without having to climb behind your rack to find that, as well as your date of manufacture code. Under there, I have a hardware ID. And from there, I've got my different firmware versions. You can see right here is the main firmware, power supply, amp 12 and amp 13. And then under there, we have our uptime feature, which we're not using right now. And under that is our number of inputs and number of outputs. I'm connected to a CS354D. So I have four analog or four Dante inputs to choose from as well as four outputs. That's the overview of our amp setting controls. In the next video, I'm gonna cover events, faults, as well as show you how to import and export settings. If you enjoyed watching, please like and share. Don't forget to subscribe to JBA University. If you wanna get notified when the next video comes out, make sure to click the bell. Thanks, and I'll see you next time.